Hi, this is Cordelia Blake. Um, today's video is about the new insurance requirements that Amazon just announced in August. I'm going to give you all the details. Um, and just to let you know a little bit about me and my team, we work with Amazon sellers to help them pivot and grow their business. And we also work with companies that don't sell on Amazon that want to put their products there or want to improve their business on Amazon. So please reach out if we can help you. I record these videos weekly, and we also produce articles and share news related to Amazon and e-commerce. So feel free to comment on this video with your email or sign up on my website, cordeliablake.com, and you will get notified of new updates and news. All right, so let us jump into insurance. So regardless of whether you've been selling on Amazon for years or you're new to the platform, this will impact you. Why is that? Because Amazon announced on August 20th, uh, sorry, on August 10th, 2021, they announced that um, they were making some changes to how they were handling uh, seller's insurance, third-party seller's insurance. Now, in case you want to find the original source uh, news released yourself, go into your dashboard, uh, your seller's central dashboard, and there's a news section and look on August 10th. And there was an email about their new A to Z claims. <laughs> so it doesn't say the word insurance in the subject matter, just FYI, it says something about A to Z claims. And then you read that and it goes into a deep dive into their new insurance policy. Now I am going to summarize it for you here and I'm gonna give you some important information, like I said, even for people who've already been insured and companies that have already been insured for years, this still impacts you. All right, so I have a few slides here just to show you guys what to do. Um, so let me get that shared. Okay, so the new policy begins on September 1st. So we're getting really close. Um, and it's, I'm going to tell you who it applies to in a second. So you may, it may already apply to you, or you may uh, hit that target in the next few months, especially with Q4. Um, so you want to be prepared. They're also saying that if a customer submits a valid claim that's less than $1,000, if you have valid insurance, they will cover it. So that's another really good reason to get valid insurance, even if you don't quite meet their revenue goals, because they're saying if somebody files a claim and it's legit, but it's for like 800 bucks, we'll just take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, they're saying that it is easier to buy insurance through their new Amazon insurance accelerator. Uh, we personally don't recommend that you go through that, but you're certainly welcome to check it out. They're saying that they're going to fa facilitate the resolution of property damage, uh, personal injury claims between the customer seller and their insurance provider. Um, so again, this is all kind of subject to us seeing how they handle everything. Um, and then if the customer has a valid claim, so supposedly Amazon is going to not present sellers with unsubstantiated frivolous or abusive claims, um, they frequently say things that they don't do. So we will see if they actually vet the claims at all, or if they just throw whatever crappy claims our way, that will only time will tell on that one. Now, this is the key here. You need to have insurance once you have reached $10,000 in sales for one month. It used to be three months, but now it's one. So if at any month in your whole entire sales history of selling on Amazon, you have sold $10,000 or more in product, you need to have insurance. Now, personally, I recommend that even if, you've, if you're under 10 grand a month, that you still have in business insurance. It protects you. And especially with this $1,000 claim thing, you want to make sure that if somebody does file a claim and Amazon can take care of it, they do. So your best bet is to definitely have insurance no matter what. But Amazon only, Amazon only requires it if you have sold at least 10000 in one month. Um, now, some of you have had insurance for years that met the Amazon, they, they have a bunch of requirements about what it needs to cover and how much the amount has got to be. Um, we've had it for years, 
but you still have to upload your certificate of insurance to your account. So even if you don't need a new policy, you still have an action item here. So what you're gonna do is go in your seller central support, uh, seller central dashboard and click the little gear button and go to account info. Next, you're gonna go to, there's a, a, a block of, of choices on that screen. One of them is business information. Under there is business insurance, click on that. We do not recommend that you go through the Amazon Insurance Accelerator. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an insurance agent. We are not comfortable with the questions they're asking sellers about their business. We don't think you should share that information with the insurance company or Amazon. Um, and so we, we work with Ashlyn Haddon in our company um, and a lot of sellers work with her. So I'm just gonna throw her a shout out and I'll put a link to her um, her uh, website in the comments. And I don't get any referral fee or anything for that. Just, just she does a really good job with e-commerce sellers. So once you've signed up for insurance, you're gonna get something called a certificate of insurance. And this is basically a one page proof that you have coverage. So you're gonna go and when you click on that business insurance thing, you need to click step number two, upload proof of insurance. And this is the part where even if you've had insurance for years, this is your action item. You need to go in and actually upload the proof of insurance. So it, you, you put in some basics here, you're gonna upload the certificate of insurance and submit it. Now, we've heard reports of some sellers having errors. Um, the other thing you have to make sure is that the, um, the coverage date is at least 60 days out from when you upload it. So that can be a little like what happened to us is our policy renews every year at this time <laughs> in August, like just randomly, it worked out that way. So we had to renew it early to get our certificate of insurance early so that we had a 60 day policy coverage on it. Um, and it, it looks like you may have to do this every year where you, every time you renew your policy, you'll need to renew and upload a new certificate of insurance. I don't know if they're gonna check that or not yet. So anyway, you wanna make sure your coverage end date is at least 60 days out from the upload date. And just remember, even if you've had insurance for years, you still need to do this. Um, okay, so that's the basics with the insurance. If you've got over 10,000 in sales for any one month, you need to have insurance. We really recommend it no matter what. And you need to upload the proof into your account. Um, and give yourself a little wiggle room of time because in case there's an issue, you have time to open a case with seller support. All right, so we'd love to hear your comments about what's happening with your insurance. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'm gonna put a link to Ashlyn's insurance website in the comments. And um, I wish you all a very prosperous and safe month. Thank you so much.